I'm Dr. Satish Rudrapa, Group Director of Neurosciences uh, at Astro Whitefield, Bangalore. Today, I'll discuss some part about the disease called a brain tumor in that a tumor called meningioma. You know, the brain tumors are very rare. Luckily, it is very, very rare. It's a God-given gift. The brain is such a beautiful organ. It is the most important organ in the body, which makes us to think, react, smile, and show empathy to the world. To protect that, this, the nature, has created such a beautiful brain to human being, which can think now from creating a small plant to the AI. You can imagine how beautiful this brain is. And that brain is kept in such a sacred place called a skull with all its thick bone, you know, so that it is entirely protective to every human being. But in spite of that, it is one yet another organ in the body. So like any other organ, it can also have a problems within itself. It can be an infection, it can be tumor, it can be hit by in a trauma, and now it can be over a period of years, because as we are living longer, the degenerative changes that also happens in the brain, like how your joint changes. You know, all these things are very common for any brain, more so in the human brain, because we are more under understanding the science of the brain more and more in the present world. So in that way, even the tumor can appear in the brain. You know, luckily, the incidence of these tumors is just 1% of the total disease you find in the world. You know, I'm very happy, though I'm a neurosurgeon, the incidence is so low that the human being can live without a problem. So among the tumors, the glioma is the tumor which comes from the brain cells is very common. You know, I will talk about this subject some other time, but I'll talk about another tumor called as meningioma. Meningioma is nothing but the tumor which is arising from the covering of the brain. The meninges, the meninges is nothing but the covering. This brain is a soft organ. It's almost like a dough mixed with extra water. It's so soft and it is floating in a water called CSF. To cover this water and the dough of uh, you know, uh, brain, the God has given a covering called as a dura matter. Dura matter is nothing but a covering of the brain which is as good as the you know, thick uh, uh, layer of a cloth, but it has a cell of its own and it protects the brain very much. From this cell, inside the dura, we have another layer called arachnoid cell. You know, in this arachnoid cell, you know, a membrane has arachnoid villi and it has a cell from which, the, along with the dura matter, the tumor will arise called as meningioma. Meningioma is one of the commonest benign tumors in the brain. It can arise any part of your skull. It can arise in the frontal part, it can be in the basal part, it can be above the nose and everywhere. But it is a slow growing tumor. And on average, it takes about, depending on the location it is there, in a one to two years before it gives the symptom. And what symptom these things gives? You know, normally, you know, the brain is once again a painless organ. But meninges is a painful. That is a covering is, has a pain sensitive. So many patients come with a simple headache. But not all headache is, you know, you will have a tumor. Don't get scared about this talk. You know, because the 99% of the headaches will not have a problem, but 1% will have this kind of a tumors. So this headache will be dull aching, and as the tumor grows, it usually increases the pressure within the skull, because skull cannot be expandable. And over a period of years, many patients say that, Doctor, when I get up in the morning, I get a dull headache, and you know, after some time, I become slightly dull, and but the headache persists. That's the commonest symptom. But if the tumor is entered into the brain tissue, you know, it usually is outside the brain tissue between the skull and the brain. But when it starts entering into the brain tissue or compresses the brain, it can give rise to what is called as fits or the sheeshes we call. That is the second symptom. And the third symptom, based on the location, for example, if you have this kind of the tumor in the left side of the brain in a right-handed person, there is a speech area. Some patient says, doctor, I have slip of words when I talk. But the other commonest location where the, this tumor arises is the base of the skull. The base of the skull has important you know, nerves. Most important among all the things is the visual nerve. So we call the tumor which arises in the base, most often they come with visual blurring to start with to loss of vision in one segment of their vision. Along with the headache when they come, 
with seizure, with visual blurring, then you require the CT scan or an MRI to diagnose this. So the meningioma, wherever it is, you know, it's usually most often it's benign unless very rare variety we call atypical meningioma or aggressive meningioma which spreads beyond one level. So most of these tumors are easily diagnosable in the present day but you need a good clinician you know, to diagnose this. Next you have a CT scan and a MRI where you can quickly diagnose and based on its location, size of the lesion and the presence of symptom it requires an intervention. So unfortunately, you know, the surgery is the best intervention where we can remove completely. But many patients do not require surgery when the size is small, when it is in not compressive area, you know, and usually if it's small, especially in elderly people, you know, we say that just observe every six months, the surgery is required only if it's symptomatic. If it's symptomatic, surgery is the best way. At present, we have a fantastic microsurgical procedures and with especially in the present day with the use of the neuro navigation which is available in my department where like a Google map, if you're going somewhere and you know, I can identify where exactly I'm going, what is the size of it, what is the three dimensional picturization of it and I can remove the tumor completely. When you remove the tumor completely, it requires no further treatment. And if there is a small residual tumor, because if it is adherent to the optic nerve or in the speech area, we most often observe. If it is regrowing, at, usually it grows at the sp speed of one millimeter per year. Don't get worried, not in centimeters, it is in millimeters. If it is growing or is symptomatic, then a local radiation, you know, like a you know, laser beam we give it, you know, usually it takes away. So in a sense, meningiomas are benign tumors, easily diagnosable, you require surgery only if you are symptomatic and if treated well, they do extremely well in life and they, many of patients whom I operate, I operate today with a microsurgical procedure, send them home on the next day, I will definitely make sure they will work, go back to their work within a week period. Welcome, you know, come and see if you have any problem and visit the Department of Neurosciences, the Astral International Center at Whitefield. We will take care of you with complete smile. Thank you.